Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining today's IC Real-Time webinar. In today's webinar, we will be discussing IC Real-Time's Dash Line. IC Real-Time's Dash Line is a line of products uh, meant to compete with Ring and Nest. Uh, you're going to find here a doorbell camera, floodlight camera, uh, as well as a couple of indoor cameras uh, and a wireless chime. I have muted everyone's microphone at the moment, but I will unmute everyone's microphone at the end of the webinar to field any questions anyone might have. My name is Michael Caballero. I'm one of the national sales executives here at IC Real Time, and let's get started. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about our Dash line. Uh, so this is a product line uh, designed to increase margins uh, with doorbell cameras, uh, along with floodlight cameras and other uh, consumer level uh, devices. Uh, as you know, uh, generally there's not too much in terms of margins uh, when it comes to these cameras. Uh, and uh, they integrate with all of our IC real-time recorders. Uh, this is only through authorized dealer and distribution. Uh, it's home automation system ready with an exposed RT, uh, RTSP stream. Uh, you have local recording uh, with an SD card. Uh, you have options for cloud uh, or backup and playback. Uh, and then you have connection to a local network recorder, like I mentioned. <clears throat> So what are the reasons you would use the dash line? Uh, first is gonna be privacy. Uh, when it comes to privacy, uh, we are uh, we keep that at a very high standard. Uh, so there's 128 bit uh, in video encryption. There's 256 bit uh, account encryption. Uh, we don't sell any personal data. Uh, we have a simple end user agreement and it can operate as a closed circuit system. Uh, some, some features, uh, like I mentioned, <clears throat> an open RTSP stream for integration, uh, pre and post motion buffers, uh, capture entire events. Uh, you can easily connect to a, a, a IC real time NVR or HDVR. Uh, and it works out of the box. There's no subscription re required. It's just uh, an account uh, that needs to be created. So how do we stack up against uh, our competitors here? Uh, of course, when bringing in Nest, they're selling your personal information. Uh, of course, it's on cloud only. Uh, so there's no ST storage. Uh, there's uh, no ability to record uh, to a recorder. Uh, they only have a three-year warranty, whereas uh, we have a seven-year warranty, uh, true security, uh, integration ready. Uh, we have alternatives to cloud storage, uh, and we have uh, a simple uh, you know, user and agreement. So these are going to be your margins uh, as dealers who utilize uh, IC Real Time's dash line uh, with a dinger, your margin is $100. With the flutter, your margin is $100. Uh, with the orbit, it's 50. And with the singer, it is 25. So, this is the lineup that we're going to go over today. Uh, first, you've got the dinger, uh, which is our doorbell camera, uh, which uh, can be used with an added uh, Wi Fi chime, uh, or it comes out of the box with uh, a uh, chime kit for an existing mechanical uh, or uh, electric chime. Uh, then you'll have your flutter, your orbit, uh, and then your guardian. So our Dash app here, uh, our Dash app uh, is an application, standalone application you can use uh, for any of our Dash devices. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind here that is an advantage over our competitors is that uh, with that Dash app, once you create an account, you can import that account uh, to your already existing uh, IC real-time mobile application. And in doing so, uh, it gives you a single app environment. So now you're not bouncing, bouncing back and forth between your camera system uh, app and then your Ring or your Nest app. Uh, everything is in one application uh, with IC real-time's Dash line. So set up via the app is simple. Step one, you're going to scan your QR code on the recorder or on the device. Uh, step two, you're going to create a custom device password. Uh, then you'll select your Wi-Fi and enter your Wi-Fi password. Uh, and after that, you wait for your device to connect to cloud and name it. And that's it. So this is going to be the Dinger. Uh, this is our doorbell camera. Uh, it is a 1080p or 2 megapixel uh, doorbell camera. Uh, you have two-way audio, of course. Uh, that can be communicated from any of our uh, applications, whether it's a, a PC and Mac application, mobile application, uh, or even through the IC real-time recorder. Uh, of course, it's got IRs. Uh, it has micro SD storage. Uh, it comes with 16 gigs of micro SD storage, 
All of these devices are going to come with 16 gigs of micro SD storage in the box. Uh, this is upgradable to 64 gigs of storage. Uh, and then the rest of the line is upgradable to 256 gig of storage. Uh, <clears throat> You have full tech support from our IC real-time tech team. Uh, there's no cost for tech support, uh, and you can get tech support for both the dealers and the users. Uh, there is a cloud storage if they choose to do so. Uh, it's $33 for 30 days of cloud storage, uh, and then you have uh, 60, uh, $6 for 90 days of storage, uh, and then you have $15 for 365 days of storage. Uh, you'll get PIR, PIR detection and the wide angle lens at 140 degrees. Uh, comes with an, your installation kit and your chime kit, like I, like I mentioned. Uh, and then easily export uh, your recordings uh, onto your mobile device. So here's a quick video of the Dinger doorbell here. And with that PIR detection, uh, you'll also get notifications uh, of movement at your front door uh, before they even ring the doorbell. Now, <clears throat> here's a couple of views of the Dinger doorbell here. Uh, on the front view, you're going to you see your PIR detector, uh, your IR LED indicator, your built-in speaker as well, and your built-in microphone. Uh, on the rear here, you're going to get your micro SD card slot, your hard reset button, uh, and your two wire connection. Uh, this is a two wire powered device. Uh, there is no battery power for this. Uh, so you're gonna want that two wire connection from uh, either running that wire or, or an already existing uh, doorbell. And with that 140 degree field of view, uh, you're gonna be able to mount this both uh, next to your uh, door or if it's an adjacent doorbell, you can still utilize that as well. So here are some of the specs you're going to find here uh, for the Dinger doorbell. Uh, you're going to have your two megapixel uh, CMOS sensor. Uh, you'll have your IR uh, with a 16.5 foot distance. Uh, your field of view, like I mentioned, is 140 degrees. Uh, you'll have your two-way talk along with uh, echo cancellation. Uh, your micro SD slot uh, supporting up to 64 gigs. Uh, with that uh, included 16 gig micro SD storage, uh, you're going to have your PIR detection uh, and that PIR area is configurable. So uh, you can make adjustments to your PIR distances uh, in both width and length to minimize false positives. And it's AC 16 to 24 volts uh, and DC 12 to 24 volts as well. Uh, and the power assumption is about nine watts. The Singer, again, this is your Wi-Fi chime kit. Uh, you can simply plug this into any AC outlet in a home uh, or in any room, uh, connect to Wi-Fi, and then uh, combine it with your Dinger doorbell, uh, and you'll have your Wi-Fi chime in any location that you need. Uh, you have multiple different wi wi uh, chimes to choose from, uh, so it's a great device if you have a larger home uh, where the front door doorbell uh, cannot be heard, uh, you can place one of these there as well. So again, simple Wi-Fi chime plugs into any AC outlet with multiple different chime options. So Singer, uh, not much to it here. Uh, Built-in loudspeaker, multiple ringtones. Uh, again, just plugs into a simple AC, AC outlet uh, and it's Wi-Fi connected. So the Flutter is our floodlight solution. Uh, this is again, a two megapixel uh, floodlight camera. Uh, all of these uh, devices come with uh, two by two MIMO wireless antennas. Uh, so it's great wireless connection. Uh, the light is 2000 lumens. Uh, it's also a soft white light at 3000 Kelvin. Uh, here, the uh, SD storage is upgradable to 256 gigs of micro SD storage again, or you can add any of these devices to uh, our IC real-time recorders. Uh, uses a 120 volt uh, AC input, hardwired, just like any floodlight that would be on a home. And it's got an ultra wide 200, 270 degree uh, PR detection zone that again is adjustable.
So here's our floodlight camera in action. Let's go with a night vision so you can see the floodlights light up the scene here. So as you can see, as soon as it captures motion on its PAR detection, it illuminates the scene. And again, it's a 3000 Kelvin soft white light. So just taking a closer look here on the Flutter floodlight camera, you've got your two floodlights, which are uh, adjustable on articulating arms. Uh, the uh, actual camera uh, pod is also adjustable on articulating arms. So you can use this under eaves and soffits as well. Uh, you have your two floodlights, you have your uh, then your camera pod, which is gonna house your hard reset button, your built-in microphone, your lens, your PIR detector, uh, of course, your micro SD card, SD card and your LED indicator. So a couple of specs here. Uh, we have our camera, again, two megapixel. Uh, for your IR distance, it's going to be uh, 33 feet. Your field of view is 114 degrees by 66 by 137. Uh, you have your motion detection, your PIR detection, and that's going to be pixel-based motion detection in conjunction with your PIR detection, again, which is adjustable. Uh, you got your micro SD slot here. Uh, this camera supports H.265 as well as H.264, 16 times digital zoom. Uh, the siren uh, for communication is 100 decibels uh, and is adjustable uh, with, the, with that speaker. Uh, along with that, you can create your own uh, uh, voice uh, uh, notifications uh, to come out of that 100 decibel speaker. Uh, AC 100 to 240 volt, uh, your power consumption is about 40 watts. Uh, your brightness, again, is 2000 lumens. Your color temperature is 3000 Kelvin. Uh, you have three working modes for your de detection uh, or your illumination, which is your manual, your PIR motion activation, uh, and dust till dawn as well. And then again, you have those uh, two by two MIMOS uh, Wi-Fi connection. Now the Orbit, uh, Orbit is a fantastic indoor Wi-Fi camera. Uh, it's simple, plug into an AC outlet. It can be mounted uh, tabletop or countertop. It can also be mounted uh, upside down, uh, maybe hanging from a uh, cabinet. So you can, it has, it comes with a mounting kit to be hung upside down and then you can flip the image uh, on the interface. Uh, H265 connection here. Uh, you can record continuous, not just in motion. Uh, 24 days of history on a 20 on 256 gig micro SD storage. Uh, it stays in full 1080p or two megapixel uh, in day or night. Uh, the great thing about this camera is that it has a privacy mode, uh, which many cameras do not. So with that privacy mode uh, on our mobile application, uh, you have a simple privacy mode button. Uh, and with that privacy mode button, that's gonna allow uh, the camera to close in on itself. So as you can see on screen here, uh, you have a kind of a ball turret uh, that's sitting in a cradle for this orbit camera. Uh, and once you select that privacy mode, uh, the whole lens uh, and microphone actually turn in on the camera, uh, the microphone shuts off and you have your full privacy mode. So uh, you're guaranteed for that privacy mode. You're not just trusting that the camera is off uh, just by pressing that button. It actually uh, turns in on itself so the lens uh, cannot see anything. We have a few different customizable uh, kind of sleeves for these. Uh, these are generally kind of meant for, you know, if you're gonna use this uh, for something like a nanny cam, uh, it's a cute little uh, thing that you can add to the camera. Uh, just to brighten things up. So on the orbit, you have your LED indicator, you have your built-in microphone, and you have your lens, again, that turns in on itself. Uh, you have your built-in speaker, your ethernet port, and your power port. That's something that is not shown here, uh, but if you uh, turn the actual uh, ball assembly upward, uh, you'll see your micro SD storage as well. Now your, your pan is basically uh, full 355 degrees. Uh, your tilt is gonna be uh, five degrees to 80 degrees. It's just a bit of, of uh, 
demo for the Orbit camera. Uh, you can see it maintains that two megapixel quality. So fantastic little uh, indoor uh, camera. We are bringing uh, an outdoor version uh, to our product line. Uh, so you'll see that very soon as well. So specs here, two megapixel, uh, you'll have uh, 33 feet of uh, IR distance there. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi connected camera, uh, on with compatible as well. Uh, power consumption is uh, 3.5 watts and it is basically a DC five volt, one amp power supply. So it plugs right into any AC outlet. Uh, micro SD card uh, storage, again, comes with 16 gigs, upgradable to 256. You've got your built-in microphone and your speaker, A265 compression and 16 times digital zoom uh, with two-way audio. Uh, it's got human detection as well. Human detection is very good, uh, configurable areas of interest, uh, and it's got an abnormal sound alarm as well. And then lastly is going to be the Guardian. The Guardian is just a simple indoor drop cam style camera. Uh, again, two megapixel, 131 degree field of view, uh, H265 compression, uh, built-in speaker and microphone, uh, along with a built-in siren for two-way talk, uh, sends instant alerts to your phone uh, for motion detection. Again, comes with some cute, if you're going to use this as a nanny cam, uh, comes with, with a, a couple of cute customizable hats there. And then of course, you got your LED indicator on the front, uh, your two megapixel lens, uh, your built-in microphone. On the back, you'll find your micro SD storage slot, your power port, uh, built-in speaker, uh, and your hard reset button. So again, two megapixel, uh, super wide angle lens, very good, uh, just inexpensive drop cam uh, for an interior here. Uh, you're going to see that most of the uh, feature sets are the same as the Orbit, except for the Orbit just being having that pan tilt functionality. So now what I'll do is I'll take any questions anyone might have. I do ask that if you have any questions, you go to the top of your Zoom meeting. Uh, there is a Q&A tab, uh, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you, you drop there. Uh, Martin, uh, so a question, uh, is this compatible with Chamberlain Smart Garage controllers? Uh, in other words, can I add an IC camera to this controller? Uh, I'm not certain, but uh, if it is, uh, if, if the, the Smart Garage controllers support OnVIF, uh, it should be fairly simple to add this camera, any of these cameras. Hey, Tommy, I appreciate that. Uh, Jay, yeah, we are looking at some POE options uh, in our next uh, doorbell camera, uh, which would be a pro version of that doorbell camera. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at those options right now. Um, can't speak to anything quite yet, uh, as no decisions have been made, but it is an option we're looking at.
All right. Well, it looks like no one else has any questions at this time. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us on today's IC Real Time webinar. My name is Michael Cabalero, one of the national sales executives here at IC Real Time. Have a fantastic day and stay safe.